If you see this title, you know I'm going to open some boxes. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Magandang araw sa iyong lahat. Welcome po sa aking channel. It's time to do a quick unboxing video again. Uh, you know how important my channel is for me and my viewers. I want to keep you satisfied and it's important that I'm keeping updating all my gear because the time that we are going to travel to Philippines is coming closer and closer. And there are still some things like with every new equipment that there is like a learning curve. You have to learn to use those products uh, before you can have like good footage. So it's important that uh, I still give myself some time to learn to use it and to learn to edit with it. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to click the subscribe button. That's the red button down the video. Don't forget to click the notification bell to get updates about new videos that will arrive really soon. Now the time of vlogging changed, um, especially if you're vlogging while you're traveling. This is one of the things that you cannot miss then. You have to have a drone that's... Uh, almost like standard now when you're traveling not only a good camera but if you want to go to the next level you really have to have a, a drone to have nice footage uh, of the area where you're staying and especially in philippines there are some really nice beaches there are some really nice islands so it will be uh, nice to fly the drone there now it was not easy to find a drone uh, for the needs that i have because the law here in Europe will change in July 2020. Now in 2019 they changed uh, already the law on paper but it will start uh, going on July 2020 and some things changed. Now drones are, will be in categories from their weight and it depends on which category, which uh, trainings that you will have to have, which certificates that you will have to have. I preferred to have a more heavy drone to start with because they are better in wind conditions, they said. But it's hard to find uh, even the time now, we are already 2020. It's not easy to find which courses that you have to follow and what are the prizes. And that's also important, of course, what are the prizes to pay for those certificates that you need. So that's why the reason that I choose for the Mavic Mini. He is uh, in, according to the new law, this is a C0 category. That means uh, that the drone is going from zero to 250 grams. This one is 249 grams. So it's in that law. Uh, you don't have to have any certificate. You don't to ha have to do any registration. This drone is uh, known as a toy drone. Um, it's not really a toy, but he's categorized as that one, so you don't need to have any special things. So you can easy fly this uh, all around in Europe even, because the laws are quite strict here. I will also put a video down below in my description. That's the video that I saw uh, how they will categorize the drones. Because, for example, the DJI Mavic Air, that's the one that I prefer to have because it's a little bit more stable, it has a little bit more options. But he is more than the 250 gram, so he is a category C1. And it means that you need to have uh, certificates for it, you need to register it. And for me, it was no problem to get my license for that. I'm willing to do that, but you don't have any idea what are the prices. The prices that you can find online are still the ones that are uh, current now and the prices are quite high to learn to fly a drone, especially if you're only flying it once or twice a year, uh, it's uh, really a lot of money. If you're doing it for a profession, it's totally different. But uh, that's why I choose the Mavic Mini. So I was uh, quite uh, searching long uh, about that uh, regulations because uh, yeah, a drone is... Uh, quite expensive uh, especially if you're not flying it every day so i was really searching uh, which one i should buy and because there is nothing uh, to find yet about the new regulation i get the mavic mini 
and I ordered it uh, some time ago because they're quite interesting and they are going really quick so I arrive, it arrived in the shop and because of some uh, personal uh, issues uh, and circumstances I couldn't pick it up myself so I want to thank my parents to get it uh, for me because otherwise the time was gone and I couldn't pick it up uh, anymore then they will send it back and it will be really sad now I was waiting really long for this so let's open the box Welcome at my table. As you noticed, the, you see that I had to really change my setup that I'm normally doing from the unboxing because this box is uh, quite a lot bigger than the ones that I had before. Um, as you can see, important on the box, 249 gram. Now the 249 gram, it's uh, ultra light and it's included with the battery and it's included with the memory card. So that's really important uh, if you add other things like uh, the propeller guards or something is going over the 249 gram and if you are using that it means that you have to have uh, some registration and that you have to have to have some license but it all depends of the country that uh, you want to use it now this one is the mavic mini fly more combo it means that I have the case, I have extra battery, the charger uh, and etc. And it's only 100 euro more. So if I can see online, the price of one extra battery, it's already 45 uh, euro. So if you have two battery, it's 90 euro. Then you don't even have the case, you didn't have the charger. So if you are planning on buying a Mavic Mini, better to uh, spend 100 euro more and then you have a lot of uh, extra options. Now, as you can see, the box is still sealed. I didn't have the time last days to, to open it, so because I was not uh, feeling 100%, I didn't uh, do anything with it yet. So it's already a few days that it was uh, standing here and uh, smiling at me, but I uh, didn't uh, feel well to open the to open the box now here on this one you can see there are some uh, warnings you have to have uh, 16 plus and uh, the propellers can uh, hurt people so be careful for that there is also a list from what's included and uh, also the DJI uh, care refresh the DJI care refresh is like a kind of insurance that you can take with it and um, I didn't receive it yet because uh, it was not in the shop so they will send it after uh, they will give you uh, some repairment if something broke with the drone so it's like a kind of insurance the box is open really the box is open here these are the propeller guards um, they always say if you want to fly indoors use them I'm not going to fly indoors uh, normally but I will just go uh, and put them on for my first flight maybe because I never flew in a drone before it's my first time and I uh, don't want to crash it in the first time so I maybe I will put them on I will see if it's easy or not but if you're seeing it it's really light, light plastic it has some clips to uh, to put it on so let's see if it uh, will work fine or not Putting at the side, that's the least important, that's the props. If you can see, here is the case. And here on the bottom, there is a charger. Now it's a special charger because it's a kind of quick charger, they said. Um, there is some manuals here. Now this is the European version, so of course it will have a plug here for Europe. It looks a little bit like, uh, like from Samsung or that but it has the DJI logo on top and here are the batteries they're quite heavy if you can see them they're quite quite heavy now you can see I just opened the box so I didn't charge everything up yet so I will see how much uh, the battery is uh, already charged I think it's a different size if I want to take them out We 
because there is a lid on it, so they keep in. And to be honest, they're quite heavy, so I'm surprised if it stays under the 249 gram with this battery, the drone should be really, really, really light then. So, but they look quite nice. And then, big moment of truth, some drum rolling. Ta-da! Here it is. And this is really light. This is really, really, really light. I could see a, a dummy already in the shop. And that was still quite heavy that I can feel, but this is really, really light. So if you put the two together, yeah, maybe it will be 249 gram, but this is really, really light. And it looks really nice also. You can see everything is sliced nice and secured with a sticker. I can see that there are some options also to um, have some propeller guards to put them in. There's even here, I don't know if you notice, I will show it to the camera. There is even a sticker here, how you have to fold your props to put them in this case. Now I don't have a prop guard yet because I can see there is a lot of different kind of ones and some are not fitting in this box anymore so that will be sad that you buy the box and then you have a propeller guard that's uh, too big. So let's put it in again. <clears throat> this one that's the normally the charger. Yeah this is the charger. Now you can charge it the three batteries. Now this is a this is a smart charger, so he will see which battery is uh, almost full or like has the most power still in it, and he will quickly charge that one. So you can fly again with the drone, and then after he will uh, charge the other ones. So it's a fast uh, charger that makes sure that uh, you can fly really quick again with this drone. And you can also, if you put the batteries in, you can also use this as a power bank. So if you're really out uh, and you don't have any electricity and you need a power bank for your uh, remote or for your phone, you can put like two or three batteries in it, depends how much you want. You just connect it to your phone and you can charge your phone. So it's really good. That's why it's an interesting drone to take on holiday. Um, also in Philippines, you don't have everywhere uh, immediately contact to electricity. So especially if you're traveling uh, with a backpack. So that, that is a, a nice extra option. Here are the two cables. That's also something you have with a fly more combo. You have two pair of cables. I can see a lot of reviews already. So this is a, this is a micro USB. And this also, so it's two times the same cable. Now you only have the two cables in the fly more combo. If you have just the normal drone, you can only have one cable. That's what I can see in other videos. You also have the screwdriver. If you have to change your uh, propellers, it's a special screwdriver. Oh, it's just a really, really small one. And it's a cross, cross one. This is really small. Good that there is a case with a fly more combo to keep everything nice and tight together. And this one, they are just uh, the cables to connect the phone with the remote. Now, one side should always be the same because you will connect it to the remote. And the other one, it depends on which phone you have. You can have a lightning, you have an USB-C or the just a standard uh, USB uh, phone connector, the micro USB. So there are three. Now we have a special small envelope. I put the camera a little bit closer so you can notice it better. This is the manual. So, and you immediately notice you have really a lot of manuals. You have the fly more combo. That's like with all the accessories, what it is. It's like the names. 
and what's inside the box. Then you have the quick start. Now the quick start, I'll show you. It's showing you how you have to fold it open, how you have to charge it, how you have to put your phone into the remote. Now you can fly also without the phone into the remote, but then you cannot record it. Or maybe you can record it because there is a record button here on the remote itself, but I don't know um, how it will work like that. You have even here like the remote, which button is for what, so you have to really learn how it works. Then we have an accessory user guide. Now here it's uh, marked how you have to add the propeller guards, how we have to charge the batteries. Then you have a card. What? Make sure it's focused. What's allowed to do and what's not allowed to do. So you cannot use the propellers for your barbecue. That's sad. That was my first plan. But just joking. It's like uh, I don't understand why they uh, have to add it. Maybe it's for insurance or something. Also here, don't hang any grocery on it when you're going to the shop. Uh, and don't fly when it's uh, really stormy and uh, like uh, lightning. Then we have here, this is in French. That's sad that it's not in Dutch. It has to do uh, with uh, security of the people and other uh, sites. Maybe it's the same because it was together with the cart. Maybe it's also that. I will uh, take my time later to, to translate it. And then there is like here a really small guide in different uh, languages. And I will see quickly what's in here. That's uh, oh, how you have to store it. Uh, it's also uh, warnings, uh, the, sick, the safety guidelines. So I will quick uh, read this. And it's also the specifications. You can fly 30 minutes with this one. I already knew it. Normally you can go three kilometer high and uh, four kilometer far. Now that's uh, all nice to hear, but here in Belgium you're only to allowed to fly in the visibility of your drone. Now this is a small drone, so I and I have already glasses, so maybe I cannot fly really far away from uh, my remote but you always have to keep your uh, drone into your visibility so this is uh, maybe uh, good for other countries but it's not really common here in belgium maybe it will change with the new law uh, because now in belgium you're only a fly allowed to fly 10 meter high and what i can hear is that uh, they will take the regulation for whole europe uh, and then you can fly 120 meter high so that's a, a big difference now in uh, the netherlands there is already allowed to fly 120 meters high so maybe they will take some law from every uh, country and then they put it together and then this is quite heavy this is the remote the remote is more heavy than the than the drone itself so this one so excited uh, i looked really a long time forward to have the the drone and now i finally can hold it in my hands it's like a, it's like a really special moment the connections are here to fly the joysticks so i cannot wait to charge everything up and uh, to start flying with it This is quite heavy. Also the first time that I can feel the, the joystick, it's quite uh, sensitive. So I think I really have to have a lot of practice uh, before I can really start flying the drone. And then this one, this is uh, extra propellers. I hope I don't need them. I hope that I don't break any of them. So this is, this is everything that's in the box. You have a lot of cables, you have three batteries, you have 
the charger, the props, and of course you have the drone yourself, Mavic Mini. And it was even printed, but I think it's uh, under the arms here. Um, that it's it's even printed here that it's only 249 grams. So if you, there was a, a police coming or something, you can prove that this drone is really uh, light. Because maybe not every authority knows uh, something about uh, drones. But this one you can uh, prove that it's uh, really cheap. So this is, uh, this is for now the unboxing. I will charge everything up and then I hope I can make a quick video again to, to really fly this. But uh, it's quite windy today and to have my first flight I don't want to have uh, a lot of wind. I will uh, take a calm day and just uh, do some some basic maneuvers to train but I will also make a video about that. So let's go out of the table again. So I hope you're uh, also excited to see some footage from the drone uh, like I am doing. I will also make a video from my first flight that I will do uh, with this drone. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't subscribe yet don't forget to Click the red button down the video or you can do it here on the red circle on top of the video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Pa'alam!